confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. Hey yo 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 what's up man it's your boy T U S K O to the D Mr. Flow so good man Tiba Tortia Mr. Skip of my what what back with you guys with another YouTube video for those of you guys that are new to our channel please do feel free to click that red button and subscribe to our channel I'm sure you guys can already see but fair to last week we were close to getting to 6,000 and this week we're close to 7,000 subscribers let's keep doing the right thing but fair to let's hit that 7,000 subscriber mark maybe next week we're at 7,700 who knows now but fair to ambitious entertainment is out for damage control you guys will remember that a few months back I released a video just basically showing you guys some letters that ambitious had sent out to promoters TV stations and radio stations basically telling them that yo if you book or play music by this artist that have left the label that you know was released under ambitious entertainment you guys will face legal action from us and you obviously know that these artists were Fifi Cooperson, Benchmark, A. Reese and a few others well basically ambitious entertainment has come out to update us on what has happened in their legal proceedings against one of the artists that left which was Fifi Cooperson and this is what they actually came out and said they said official statement high court matter between ambitious PTY LT D and Fifi Cooperson and this is how the whole thing went they said ambitious entertainment have previously committed to updating the fans and media regarding the social media smear campaign and subsequent actions that took place on 19 February 2017 including signed artists breaching contract we would like to report that on 22 November 2017 and the corporate match against Boykoto Mugeti Fifi Cooper the Gauteng High Court has ruled in favor of Ambitious Group Pty Limited, and the order is as follows. Fifi Cooper is interdicted and restrained from infringing the copyright in relation to all songs recorded whilst at Ambitious Entertainment, including performing in public, reproducing them in any manner or form, making and performing adaptation of the songs in public, she is interdicted and restrained from making any representations on any media claiming ownership of the copyright. Um, obviously, the rest of the part is just a bit blurry. Um, it continued on the last point. They also said, lastly, she is ordered to pay legal costs of the ambitious entertainment, including costs of two advocates. Uh, this judgment further proves that the legal and constitutional rights of ambitious entertainment were infringed upon by the departed artist and that ambitious entertainment will continue on its path in seeking fair justice for itself and for those it represents. Ambitious Entertainment would like to thank the fans for continued support throughout our journey of defining a new era and changing lives. Further updates on developments of other legal proceedings brought by Ambitious Entertainment will follow in due course including matters relating to a now I'm afraid to clearly you guys can tell that Ambitious is basically telling us here that they've won the case against Biffy Cooperson and you know you guys will remember that they also won the case against Benchmark and you know clearly they're moving forward with the A. Reese case which I'm thinking they're probably also going to win and you know she's being ordered to pay some fees towards Ambitious Entertainment and ordered not to perform the songs that she recorded under Ambitious Entertainment um, apparently she has to pay their legal fees as you guys you know saw in the whole document Man, in this whole situation, it's clear Ambitious Entertainment is out to clear their name. They're out to clear their name because that time when the artist left the label, they came out just basically stating that they were unhappy with the conditions they were working under at Ambitious Entertainment and felt like they were not being paid properly and so on and so forth. And Ambitious felt like that was, you know, those artists, you know, trying to ruin their image. And clearly they did ruin their reputation because we clearly don't see Ambitious the way that we used to see them anymore. But the sad part about this is that it's not necessarily clearing ambitious entertainment's name you know ambitious entertainment still looks bad in this situation whether you know the court clears them and says that they were wronged and so on and so forth but by them winning a case against Fifi Cooper and you know Fifi Cooper being ordered to pay and so on and so forth that doesn't make them look good in any way it's not clearing their name all it's doing is just making them look like a bully it's making them look like they're still out to destroy you know Fifi Cooperson's career and making people look at the artists that are currently signed under Ambitious Entertainment and saying yo are you guys gonna be able to handle this because clearly the day you guys want to leave the label Ambitious is going to be upset with you guys and maybe this is what you're also gonna go through so I don't think it's necessarily helping their case to actually come out and say yo we were innocent these artists were lying and so on and so forth I think they were better off just letting them go 
but that's just my opinion. Now, how 50% will pay, you know, these amounts? It seems like, you know, some hefty fees because if she has to pay for the illegal fees, I'm sure Ambitious Entertainment didn't hire no cheap lawyers. Clearly, she has to pay out a lot of money. But you know, I'm hoping she'll be able to. I'm hoping she'll be able to work out a settlement, maybe pay them over time, and so on and so forth. But like I said, I don't think this is clear in Ambitious Entertainment's image. It's making them look even worse in front of us as fans. But you guys, leave me a comment in the comment section, letting me know what you think. Do you guys think that this, you know, is clearing Ambitious Entertainment's name and you know, basically making the artist look bad, or is it vice versa? I actually think it's vice versa. I think it's making Ambitious look bad. But you guys, leave me a comment in the comment section let me know what you think and definitely subscribe also. now wait 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 Emma Billy I know you want to go but click that red button and subscribe and put some respect on a younger name man awesome.